Jit, 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 jit. You already know it's your boy Joe back at it again. I didn't did it again. Yeah, man, trying to just get out of my house right now. <laughs> Going to work. But yeah, man, somebody asked me today, Joe, when do you know that you know <laughs> Laravel? All right? When is it that you know that you are actually a Laravel developer? Well, I would say the moment you can create an app, a web application, right? The moment you can create a web application with multiple routes and then you can post data to the server, right? You can post data to the server, uh, pull data from the server. Uh, what else? Have uh, user authentication. Uh, create something like permissions you know like let's say permissions of one user can get in into this area and one user cannot get into the other area you go what else um, something else that you should know um, you know it should be comfortable with using PHP artisan you know like how to create a model because you shouldn't be creating those things manually you should never be creating a, a, a model or controller by yourself. You should be using PHP Artisan. Um, let me see what else. You should at least know what Tinker is. Like sometimes you want to mess around with the data through the terminal. So you should know at least a little bit of, of Tinker, how it works. What else you should know? Yeah, and that's pretty much it and just know how to debug things like you know sometimes you might miss a variable on a page and what it is gonna show you is a, a thing that says whoops there's an error but it doesn't tell you where the variable is messed up at like let's say you you wanna um, I don't know display uh, a total of items on a cart right but items are missing right so you got to know how to debug that page to find which variable is the one that's messing up and it's just about commenting things out it's just like how JavaScript is it's just you go into that page on that view and then comment things out and, and basically see which one which variables work and which one is not working and that's how I usually find it also, too, knowing uh, PHP Blade, uh, the Blade template, understanding it and knowing how to use it is very important. Another thing that I tell people, please don't go crazy with creating, you know, uh, different includes. Like, people start making everything into a fucking include. That shit is really annoying. Like, let's say you create a, a page, right? And your page has multiple sections. And then you break up that page into uh, multiple sections. So every section has a different page. And then you just include them into that one page. That's fucking annoying, guys. Don't ever do that shit, right? Because an include, it should be taken out out of a page if it's going to be reusable somewhere else. So that's like a, uh, a component, right? Only reason you should have an include or like separate a page into multiple sections is if any of those sections, you're gonna reuse it somewhere else. If you're not gonna reuse it somewhere else, don't fucking split it up because it's really annoying. I hate when people do that shit with SAS. I hate when people do that shit with um, fucking Laravel. I hate when people do it, period. Like, people think, like, that's, like, smart or, like, you know, witty. Like, oh, yeah, I just broke down one page into uh, several fucking files. And it's like, no, because now if I want to edit something, I have to keep jumping from file to file instead of doing it in just one file. It doesn't make sense, you know what I mean?
but yeah, man. Freaking shit is crazy this morning. I think one of my tires might be going flat. I heard it yesterday. I heard like a pop yesterday. I thought it was something else. But I guess a, a, a freaking nail went inside my, my tire. Oh, man. This is the type of shit you got to wake up to, man. It's really annoying. But, yeah, man. <laughs> Anyways, guys. Yeah. So those are the things that I think like are very important when it comes to to Lara, you know. Those are the things that you gotta pay attention to. And if you know those things and you know how to create a, a web app, and it sounds cliche to say this, but if you know how to do it, to do app on Laravel, that's it. You're ready. You know. You gotta also understand what else. Um, how to return a JSON data and like I said before most importantly is how to debug things like it's really important to understand that how to debug things how to find the problems and then after that you good man <laughs> but yeah man any questions you guys have man send it to me on an email and codingface at gmail.com any questions like if I don't see you on the chat room on the live videos and I don't answer them or something like that send it to me on my email I respond to people's uh, email all the time you know sometimes I make a video about it sometimes I just give you the answers on that email alright so make sure you, you subscribe make sure you like this video and also guys Yo, check out the freaking course, man. That JavaScript course, man. I'm busting my ass, man. Like, there's so many videos for, like, the Pokemon game. Which I, I know a lot of people is going to be like, why do I need to play around with a Pokemon game? I want to learn JavaScript, right? Trust me, guys. I'm telling you now, ahead of time, like, there's so much different uh, things that you're going to learn from JavaScript doing that game that... It's pretty crazy, man. Like, you have to. You have to go in there. And, and just trust me. Even if you pay just for one month, just for that course alone, it's worth it, man. Because there's so much into it. And I'm putting in so much work that it's definitely worth it, man. It's like a good couple of hours, man. It's a lot. You're getting a lot for like fucking you know five ten dollars there's a lot of content so yeah man make sure you subscribe make sure you like this video check out my website codingface.com if you want to check out the courses that may mean to a developer they're right there into the description just check out the links all right guys i'll see you guys later bye